Today I will talk about one of these habits, which is breathing. I know this breathing, you have heard it many times from the meditation or yoga classes or this kind of things. I'm not going to talk about this kind of things because it's also difficult for me to understand them. And I have been into meditation before and I failed and I hurt myself more than I help, helped myself. So it's not about the meditation, it's not about the yoga. It's something that is very, very simple, that have a very tremendous effect on, on our life, but we are unaware of that, like I was before, and I want to inform you about this now, that as I am informed through the studies, through some kind of coincidence. So this habit is nasal breathing, and then without, and uh, I would like to tell you some small things like. Uh, Nasal breathing is one of the most important factors that changes our life. With being unaware of our breathing, we usually breathe from our mouth and also from our nose, which is changing our breathing habit, which has impact on our physical appearance or physical state, also mental state. And I have never been aware of that so far, like a and then I have practicing nasal breathing for the last four weeks and reading about this kind of habit and its impact on our life. And I would like to tell you my own personal experience by practicing just simple things like a breathing from my nose and stopping my mouth from breathing and closing my mouth for air. This kind of small habit have really changed my energy level and also a mental state. So let me talk about some physical effect of nasal breathing on my life and this is also personal experience. There are many many benefits of this nasal breathing but I will talk only about this the ones that I personally experienced last four weeks. The, it is a very short period of time. I know that it has a very long-term effect on our life but um, these ones that I have so far experienced. The first one is more energy. I used to breathe from my mouth and from my nose as well in the past and I have always been, I had always been hungry for air and I didn't have enough air in my, in my chest or in my body. I used to think that way, that the, the place has no oxygen or that place is bad or in a way the closed environment. And I always felt like I have to take a deep breath, but I couldn't take a deep breath because my body couldn't accommodate this deep, deep breath. I couldn't, I didn't know why. And recently I find out that when we are breathing from our no mouth, we are using our upper chest. And when we are using our, our upper chest and nasal mouth breathing, we cannot activate full uh, f we cannot activate our lungs fully to engage this breathing and mouth breathing activates on the upper side of our chest which is also the same breathing pattern when we are in stress situation when we are anxious or this kind of things so we are not breathing well and we are not taking the enough breeze because we are only using upper side of our chest meanwhile in contrast, when we are breathing from our nose, it's called nasal breathing. During the nasal breathing, we breathe very deeply, which means that we take a deep breath to our, uh, even to our stomach, and we activate our diaphrag diaphragma. Uh, I don't know how to say it in English, but anyway. So this deep breath activate full part of our lungs, and it makes it engage this breathing, it makes our lungs engage fully with our breathing pattern. So when I, I start breathing, nasal breathing, I felt more energetic. I used to sleep very light and I couldn't sleep very deeply. Oh, I couldn't fall asleep deep. I couldn't fall deeply asleep in the past. And I always wake up in the, in the night and uh, something very small can trigger me or can, can wake me up. But uh, when I started the nasal breathing uh, in the morning, I felt like more energetic and I had very deep night sleep.
because I stopped nose breathing and I changed or shift to nose breathing. In the beginning it was very difficult because I used get I, I got used to breathing uh, mouse from my mouth and from my nose and I was breathing very fast. But gradually I tried to stop breathing from my mouth and only from my nose and and then my breathing got slowed down uh, and I can take a deep breath sometimes in a, like a once one time in a minute or a few times in an hour and I cannot I don't experience uh, air hunger yes there are cases that still that I'm experiencing it but not like I do I, I used to it before the the second important effect on my life uh, of this habit is the shape of my eyes. In the past, I used to have very tight shape of my eyes and it wasn't vibrant. And I used to think that it was because I am playing, I was playing uh, video games, uh, watching telephone too much, or exposure to the sun is changing the shape of my eyes. But recently I find out that this breathing habit, like uh, uncontrolled, or uh, unhealthy breathing habit has a tremendous effect on the, our facial structure in a long term also in a short term in a long term there are all i will talk about it later but in a short term it makes our eyes look very tired and its shape a little bit downside and make it a little bit black under it so since i stopped breathing from my mouth i see my eyes are getting better shape and it looks my well right and I know it can be also placebo, uh, but um, when I compare my previous pictures to my current pictures, I see that the shape of my eyes have changed thanks to this breathing habit. It has also a long-term effect uh, on our facial structure. And when you type on the Google how mouse breathing changed our facial structure, you can see many details of this breathing pattern and how it makes our face unattractive in a long period of time, in a long term. Uh, and there is also one trending uh, video, or there are trending idea on the YouTube, which is also called mewing. Mewing is basically putting your tongue on the roof of your mouth and keep your mouth closed. It's also indirectly connected this connected to this breathing pattern so basically when you keep your mouth closed you also have to breathe from your nose so also this mewing is claimed to have strong impact on the the, the, the way that your jawline is shaped also your cheekbones the way that your cheekbones are are looked so basically if you are closing your mouth and if you put your if you took put your tongue on the right position like on the top of your mouth and breathe from your nose your facial structure will change accordingly and the mouth breathing is interconnected with an attractive an attractive facial structure while nasal breathing is connected to attractive facial structure so you can read more about this patterns by writing on uh, google or youtube you can watch the videos of the effect of the mewing, but this has a long-term effect and I cannot say or cannot claim that I have experienced it so far. Uh, another one is, I will talk about, I talked about the physical effect of it, now I will talk about the, the mental effect of nasal breathing. As I talked before, I used to have anxiety and depression and, and this kind of things, and being unaware of my my breathing habits. I was always breathing from my mouth and I always activating my upper chest. The way this kind of breathing is also can also be observed when we are in a stressful situation, when we are anxious, when we are in a kind of the frightening situation, we can find ourselves breathing very fast, breathing very short and breathing from our mouth and also only on upper side of our chest. So in a normal situation also I was activating my upper side of upper chest which is triggering my negative feelings like in a stress, stressful situation, anxious situation because a body cannot define if I am truly in this kind of state as long as I'm activating upper side of my chest and breathing very fast, breathing very short 
and uh, hungry for air. So basically, it also triggered my anxiety and those kind of bad feelings. Since I started breathing from my nose, and I, I can take a deep breath, and I am not that much hungry for air, my anxiety and my depression and my negative feelings or thoughts have been decreased, uh, I'm, I would say, incredibly. Because in the past, I couldn't cope with this kind of uh, feelings and when they come back to me and I couldn't stop them, I couldn't let them go away. But now when this kind of feelings like anxiety or any kind of bad thoughts or any kind of thing, feeling that comes to me, I just take a breeze from my nose and concentrate on my nose, nasal breathing once or twice or three, three times or twice and wait in, in, for a few seconds and then I find myself that I have forgotten what I used to think before. Basically, it makes me concentrate on my breathing and makes my that kind of negative feelings go away because my body is not in in right vibration or in a right uh, physical state with this kind of mindset. So I change my physical state and this physical state also changing my mental state. And I, I cannot explain how important, how beautiful it is. Uh, to breathe this way and to have a coping mechanism against this kind of feelings. So this, these are the feelings that I have experienced and these are the, the, the physical effects that I observed on my body by changing my breathing habit, only one small thing. There are some more things that I did and I think that they are also interconnected with my breathing habit and they are also changing my energy and the lifestyle and everything and my attitude toward life and I will talk about them also in the next coming videos. I hope that uh, this video is useful for you. From all I can say, from all this video I can summarize that just please breathe from your nose, not from your mouth and keep your mouth always closed. Pay attention how you breathe. Do not try to breathe much, breathe slowly. Breathe deeply if you need it, but do not breathe fast or do not breathe too much because it activates your body in a wrong way and also you are in the, in the later process in the long term you are suffering from this breathing pattern. So just breathe from your nose and see the effects of it. By the way, if you are in, interested in the, another effects of the nasal breathing, I will put the link of the book that I read about it. Uh, it's called Oxygen Advantage. And you can read many, many benefits of nasal breathing uh, on our body. And you can also apply them in your daily life and you can observe them in your daily life on your body as well. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next videos.